What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Driven. Welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Okay, so look at that. Got new threads. Look at that. Uh, uh, uh. That's right. Every side's my good side. So, anywho, in our last episode, it was pretty short, nice and sweet and everything. And yes, uh, we visited Anistar. Now it is time for us to just go straight to the gym, get our seventh badge. And this gym right here is a psychic type gym, so we do have the Pokemon for this. And, well, I hope we're ready to go right here. Let's go, let's get this. Alrighty. So, the Anistar City Gym. Not so, yeah, not so conspicuous, whatever. Anywho, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. What do you know, daddy -o? Here you are, future champ. Mwahaha, this place is amazing side of a ball. Try and getting in your head around and row around that one, right? Even if you find your way around, you'll have to watch out for those psychic type Pokemon. They've got some crazy powers, am I right? But don't give up. You'll find your way. Okay, alrighty. So, we press in the middle right here and then... God dang. It is just crazy. Super crazy. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so we're really we're really in for a battle right here. Let's go right ahead and start battling people. Don't be distracted by the surroundings. Focus on unleashing your true power. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so here we go. Going up against uh, Psychic Pascal. Pascal. It's a good French name right there. And he is coming out with his Executor or something. Yeah, Executor. I do have the right move for this guy. So let's go right ahead and use that Aerial Ace. Yeah, buddy. Aerial Ace. Look at that. Okay. And, uh, well. Oh, God. Wood Hammer nearly knocks us out, but it nearly knocks him out. So look at that. Here we go. Aerial Ace. Let's get it. Alrighty. Look at that. And I need to sneeze. <laughs> Bless me. And look at that, Goku grows to level 50. Welcome to the level 50 club. And, uh, well, that right there is, is awesome. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's give uh, Bonesaw a little bit of a try. And, wait, actually, you know what? Hold on just a sec. I need to see... I need to see something right here. I need to see something, and that is that uh, bone saw. Well, you know what? Screw it. Let's go right ahead. I do have a rare candy that I found. I was planning on using it on bone saw, but I think I kind of want to do it on natural causes and all that stuff. So now we're stepping onto this panel, and we're going around. And look at that. We're like on a, like we're like in a galaxy far, far away. Walking on the constellations or constellations and stuff. Kind of sounds familiar. And well. Now we just need to go right here. Look at that. Everybody. Everybody's helping us right now. Look at that. Okay, so uh, let's see. Trying to get around here and crud and. Uh, wow. Still no Pokemon, but there's a star right there. Literally a star. And, well, let's see. Okay, so that's the wrong way. Where the heck am I? I do not know. And, uh, well, we've already talked to that guy, so we're gonna be going right here. Man! This is a puzzle for the making, and we're right behind this guy now. And, well, we're going to be trying to find the next trainer we ba we can battle. Usually, I can find the trainers here. And, well, there's another guy that we're going to be battling. Alrighty. So, let's do this. Going up against Psychic Harry, and he is coming out with a Metacham. Alrighty. Just bring it. Just bring it. Okay. So... Rivalry has been set. Bonesaw is about to kick some ass right here. And uh, there's that acupuncture and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and use that Dragon Claw. Boost up its attack just a little bit, if you guys don't remember. Now let's finish this guy off with the Dragon Pulse. And I don't know what you're doing, homeboy, but that's not going to work. Because look at this. Dragon Kamehameha. For the win. And that right there. Is how you do that business right there. And Flood Volt grows to level 46. And it's learning Cotton Guard. Hmm. Cotton Guard. What does that do? The user protects itself by wrapping its body in soft cotton, which drastically raises the user's defense. And eh, that's not really going to happen. Alright, so we're just going to keep the old moves and uh, we're, we're going to be okay. So, Psychic Harry has been defeated. Good old Draven walks out here. The hero again. Okay, so we're walking, uh, 
around here. I like, I like the sounds that it's making right here now. Let's see. What if we go this side? We're not going to find anything. We go on to this side right here, and we're going to find something. I don't even know. Yes, another teleportation device. And now, look at that. It's a shooting star. Make a wish, guys. Go in here. And, well, look at that. There's a few trainers uh, waiting for us right here. And, okay, I got to maneuver myself right here and I have a vision that the battle we are about to have will be different from all previous battles. Probably is. I don't know. Probably. Okay, so Psychic Arthur wants the battle and he is coming out with a Reuniclus. Look at that. A Reuniclus. And here's my good old buddy at Bonesaw. Bonesaw, ready for this whole, you know, Dragon Claw thing. And again, it has the rivalry effect basically boosting up its attack because, of course, I guess male. Male on male. And look at that. Magic Guard. Now now Reuniclus is having the rivalry and we have the Magic Guard. So, well, we had a good run, but guess what? Dragon Claw for the win. That's right. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. And Arthur has been defeated. Feeling good about that, too. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and just move on right here. Let's see. There's nothing right there, but I do see the gym leader. And all we need to do now is just go through this port and find more gym leader, um, uh, or more trainers in this gym battle. Let's see, is there somebody up there? Yes, there is, okay. Yeah, we're gonna be battling as many people as possible. Okay, just because you don't see it, doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's go, Arcane, or Arachna. That's a pretty fine name, Arachna. Alrighty. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take on this Jinx right here. Of course, it is an ice type Pokemon, so we're just gonna have to go with the strength attack right here. Hopefully, it doesn't attack me with any ice type moves. And that does it right there. Mainly because, well, Bonesaw has a strength like no other. And Kakashi grows a level 54. And yes, that's how you do it, guys. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So, let's move on to the next area right here. Probably gonna find something. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so that's a... Okay, we're gonna have to go back right here. And... Well, let's go... Oh, there's another trainer right here. This gym only exists only by exerting the power of the cosmos. Huh. Alrighty. Okay, so the Cosmos. And now I'm screwed because, of course, Gardevoir. A fairy type Pokemon. Oh my god. No worries. I got this. Strength attack, and here comes that imprison attack. And here we go. Bone Saw. Strength attack. Doesn't take him out. So, yeah, that right there is going to be a little scary. Here comes its Calm Mind. I wonder if this Pokemon knows any fairy type moves, because if it doesn't, then I can, I, can, I can do something with this. Of course, we're hitting it with uh, some physical attacks here. So let's go right ahead, and here comes its psychic attack. Might be up just a little bit, and of course, we lose a little bit of the special defense. And there we go. Alrighty, okay. And just like that, Bonesaw. Rose level 47, and yeah, we, we did something. We did something right there. Still no evolution right now. Alrighty, so let us move ahead right here. And well, let's see. I gotta find the location right now. This is not the location. So I do have a. I do have a rare candy. And it turns out that our good old Pokemon will not evolve into, uh, whatchamacallit, until the next level. So here we go, Bonesaw grows to level 48, and it's learning uh, Swords Dance. I'm not going to teach it because uh, it's nothing. I'd rather have uh, Dragon Dance. And here it is, guys. Bonesaw is evolving. Alrighty, alrighty. So look at that. Look at that. We are evolving finally. Finally! It's been a while, guys. It has been a while, but you know what? It has been an e easy transition from uh, evolving into uh, Haxorus. And look at this. It's final evolutionary stage. 
Haxorus. Actually, the other one was like, wait, wait, wait. Fracture. Yeah, that's right. So that's Haxorus. Uh, <laughs> Fracture Hex. Man, I got these two names uh, mixed up. So let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Fracture. Very damn good Pokemon right here. As you can see, Dragon type Pokemon, mainly Dragon type Pokemon, but its attack, it's through the roof. It's probably one of our, our best attackers right here. It still has, it still has rivalry as its uh, as its thing. Deals more damage to the Pokemon of the same gender. And well, we got it at the Connecting Cave a few well a month ago. And well, we got the careless, the careless ribbon and all that crud. So. I think, uh, let's see, well, I think we gotta heal up our Pokemon right here because we got a nice battle ahead. And I kinda wanna try out our newest Pokemon, Fracture, right here. And, well, let's get this. Let's do this. Her name is Olympia, I think. I don't know. A ritual to decide your fate and future. The battle begins. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. A, uh, a woman of few words, her name is Olympia, and uh, look at that, look at the hairstyle, damn, looking all fine. So here we go, gym battle number seven against Olympia in the galaxy stars and all that crud, and well, here's our first look at Haxorus, or Fracture, or whatever it is, let's go ahead and use a dragon dance. Oh uh, yeah, now we're increasing its attack and speed. This guy is going to be unstoppable, and of course, they're going to be using Reflect to cut everything in half. So let's go right ahead and use one more freaking Dragon Dance. Look at that. Alrighty. And here comes its Psychic Attack. Nearly, uh, well, it takes a nice chunk. So let's go with Dragon Claw since now we're fast. Bam! Dragon Claw. Nearly takes this guy out. And there comes that light screen, which will not do anything because guess what? We got ourselves a Dragon Claw again. Look at that. Oh, uh, yeah. Take care of that. There we go. And Godzilla grows to level 56 and is learning Fire Spin. It's a nice move, but I will not teach it because it, has, yeah, it needs powerful moves. And here it comes out with a Slow King. Yeah. I'm going to go with the man, the myth, the legend, Fluffvolt right here. Yes, we're going to play advantages. So many, so many advantages, and well... Look at that, Slow King looking all, well, king-like and everything. And well, let's go with a Discharge attack right here. Of course, remember, Light Screen's still on. Almost takes this guy out, and we're going to have to beat this guy. Yeah, we're going to have to beat this guy before before he heals up. And, well, there it is. Healing up! Okay. Look at that, Thunder Punch. Look at that, there we go. And now we're falling asleep right here, so now this is a, a little bit of a problem right now, so we gotta heal our Pokemon. We gotta use a, well, we bought a bunch of full restores, so let's go right ahead and give this to Love Bolt. And you're awake, and here comes its Psychic Attack. And, well, the light screen has worn off, so that gives us an opening right there. Discharge attack for the win. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. Look at that, okay. And, well, more experience points for all of us. And here he comes out with the Meow Stick. So, let's go right ahead and use... Who should... Oh, you know what? Kakashi Hatake, he needs it. He needs this. He needs some payback after what had happened to him in the previous episode. And yeah, look at that! Look at that! Kakashi Hitake, all strong, surf attack. Let's get this. And well, again, they're trying to make a flinch and everything. So here we go, surf attack. And of course, the airplanes above. And what are you doing? Oh damn! Turning Super Saiyan and all that stuff. It is increasing its special attack and defense. So, let's go physical. Let's get this Aerial Ace right here. Alrighty, Aerial Ace for the win. Say goodbye to Meowsic. Okay, look at that. And Fluffle grows to level 47 without doing anything. Gaia 3, level 53. Learning Future Sight. No, do not want to teach that too. Because, yeah, it is what it is. 
So, there it is, guys. We defeated a new gym leader. Create your own path. Let nothing get in your way. Your fate, your future. Hmm. Majestic words from a majestic, majestic lady. Now, the psychic badge is a testament uh, to your skill. Proof of your power. Man, this woman is a woman of few words. I like her. I like her a lot. <laughs> Alrighty, so we get the Psychic Badge, a symbol of trust, not level 90 or below, Pokemon Obey. And here we have the TM04 Calm Mind, which of course will increase our special attack and special defense. And a power that grants life awakens, voices of woe, that is your future. Back from whence you came, you can be transported here. Warp to the entrance? Yes. Farewell. Damn, this girl is like... A woman of few words, a big vocabulary, and just good looking all together. I'm attracted to her. <laughs> Alrighty, for defeating this gym leader, I've gone uh, and engraved your name on what's got to be two of the coolest statues around. Uh, check them out. Alright, let's check them out. Look at that. Anastar City Gym, certified trainers, Draven. That's right. Okay, so we're done with this place, but guess what happens? I'm sure getting the psychic badge wasn't too much trouble for you. Right, Draven? Huh? Oh, it's our girlfriend right here. I think I'll challenge you to a daily battle when this trip is uh, all said and done. Seems like a, the neighborly thing to do. Let's have a rematch. Battling tough trainers is the best way to get stronger, after all. Hold on. We're getting a phone call. What could this be? Hmm. It is Lissandre, and he is. Oh damn, he 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 he's going not he's going nuts. Pokemon trainers, I come to you by the Holocaster to make an important announcement. Listen well, Team Flare will revive the ultimate weapon, eliminate everyone who is in our group, and return the world to a beautiful natural state. Unproductive fools are consuming our future. If nothing changes, the world will become ugly. And conflicts will raise, or conflicts will raise the land from end to end. I repeat, we will use the ultimate weapon to wipe the slate clean. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for those who are not our members of Team Flare, but this is a do, an ado to you all. Oh damn. Okay. So yeah, we got a bit of a problem right here. Was that was that Lysandre saying? Wiping out, wiping the slate clean, and eliminating everyone from Team Flare? Or but Team Flare? Draven, let's go look at Team Flare's headquarters. Where could that be? Perhaps he... he's where we first met him in Lumioi Town. Or City. Hmm. That could be it because, uh, well, take a look at this. These guys right here, I'm kind of in between them. Team Flare forever! Because he, uh, these outfits add, add, adds an extra pizzazz to drinking espresso at the Lysandre Cafe. Do you know where Magenta Plaza is? It's next to the Pokemon Center by Prism Tower, which is the center of the Lumioi City. There's nothing quite like the coffee from the cafe next to Magenta Plaza. Well, they just gave it away right there. Follow. It begins. I guess. It kind of does. It begins. So, in the next episode, guys, we will be going to Lumioi City because, yeah. I think it's Lissandre or Lysandre. I don't really care, but the guy is, you know, he's off his rails. So, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.